Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I thought I'd do a video today of like testing makeup. I've got a few bits that are new, a few bits that are old because obviously I didn't get a full face um, like new makeup for Christmas. But I thought I'd test out a few bits. So I've got the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit to try out which I'm scared about because I haven't used cream contour in ages. I've got the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powders to test out. I've got the MAC liquid lipstick to try out. I've never tried a MAC liquid lipstick so this is going to be interesting. Um, and then I've just got a few bits that I haven't used in a while. So I've just got a few concealers that I haven't used in a while. Um, and then I only have one mascara so yeah. And then obviously for eyeshadow. Oops. I have like lots and lots of eyeshadow palettes. I actually think I'm going to test this out because this is all loose eyeshadows that I haven't really used yet. So I think I'm going to try these ones out today. I've got some Anastasia Beverly Hill ones here and then some Revolution ones here. So I've got to try them out because I've only swatched these before. So these ones are new to test out as well. And then I think that's about it. So I've already done my eyebrows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. This is the only eyebrow product I use and I've ever like used. Like I love this so much. I won't trade it for anything. So yeah, if you are new around here, please don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe down below, and let's just get on with the video. So, starters, let's put my hair up. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to start with is my primer. I'm just going to use the Primed and Reggae by Collection. Love this primer. This is like the only primer that I use. So, and then obviously I'm just going to pop this all over my face in these areas. I don't know what my skin is going to look like with foundation on because um, my skin's been quite dry recently, so I'm just going in with a light coverage one today. I'm going in with the L'Oreal Infallible in the shade Porcelain because I'm very pale. So I'm just going to put a few pumps on my hand and then dot it all around my face. <laughs> I should have got my mirror out. I'm going to get my mirror out. <laughs> now that that's done, I'm just going to blend it in with my Beauty Blender. This foundation is so nice it's like such a light coverage that it barely covers anything so but my, my skin hasn't been problematic so i just thought i'd go in with a really light coverage um because yeah i haven't got any spots at the minute touch wood there's nothing around here that's wood but you know i just thought i'd do a very light coverage because obviously my skin isn't problematic at the minute i only really do like heavy makeup if obviously i'm going out um somewhere important i don't know or you know i've got pro problematic skin so um foundation is done next thing i'm going to go in with concealer i'm just going to go in with my collection last imperfection because i love putting this under my eyes i find that it don't crease as much with this concealer as other concealers that i've tried um so i'm just going to pop that in my usual places under my eyes a bit on my chin, a little bit on my nose, and then lastly my forehead. And then again, I'm just going to blend with my beauty blender. Right, that is all now blended in, and actually, I'm actually going to go in with the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder and just do my eyes because then I've got to use my cream contour palette. I don't know how to use this, I've never seen it, but I just wanted to try it, so I got it for like Christmas. So, right, oh, okay, so you have to take this off here. I've seen some people do it with beauty blenders, I've seen some people do it with brushes, so I think I'm just going to try it with my beauty blender first. How do you do this? shake it ah okay <laughs> i don't know how to do it right i'm gonna put the lid on okay, i've got some in there now and then i guess i'm just gonna dunk the other side of my beauty blender in and do underneath my eyes oh wow that's nice that really like mattifies it i'm only using a little bit i'm not going to bake or anything because i do get dry skin i feel like it might just make it worse so yeah i'm just going to do underneath my eyes at the moment just so i can do my contour and everything but i want to do under my eyes first because they tend to crease under my eyes a lot 
I really like that. Like, I'll just bring you a little bit closer and turn the light down. Like, it hasn't creased under my eyes. Like, I've got little creases. They're just, like, natural. But, yeah, they're really, that's, like, really nice. So, that's good. And then I'm just going to go in next with my contour, I guess. So, I've got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour. I got this in light because I am pale. And we're going to see what brush we can use. I don't know if to use my usual brush because I only really use that for powder contour. But I guess that's the only brush I've got in here at the moment for contour. Um, this is a big brush. We're just going to go light. Right, we're going to go in with like... Hmm. They look very similar. I'm going to go in with the middle one. This one looks the lightest. I'm just going to very gently dab my brush in and then I'm just going to squeeze it a little bit I just tried to look in here for a mirror <laughs> and then I'm just going to try and okay yeah that's all right that's just a little bit and then same on the other side this isn't as creamy as what I thought it'd be it's quite nice it's sort of like powder like so I'm not putting too much on my face. I've tried some cream contours before that was absolutely horrible. And then I'm just going to blend to this. Um, this is actually really nice. It blends in quite well. It, um, I can put it on quite well. This one's... Because I was scared of getting the cream one, but it's actually turning out okay. I'm just going to try and blend it in a bit more. This is um, not a very dense brush, so it's quite hard to blend it in. But we're going to have to deal with it, because I can't be bothered to go and fetch another brush. And then I'm just going to do a little bit like around my forehead, just a tiny bit. And then I'm going to go on top with, obviously, my um, powder contour, well, powder bronzer. i got a hair in it already. How did I manage to do that? I think it's off my brush. So just a tiny bit to do a little bit on my forehead. And this is what it looks like. I'll just turn it down a bit so you can see properly. It's just added like a nice bit of colour into my skin. So I'm not really pale anymore. <laughs> and then I'm going to go on top of that with my powder bronzer which is dulce from milani love this bronzer amazing so light and subtle but yeah i don't usually contour i just usually go straight in with a bronzer so this is really different for me i look quite bronzed now today which i never do and I haven't done like a full face of makeup in the longest time. I've just been like doing my eyebrows because I haven't really had nowhere to go to special, you know. So yeah, this is really nice, especially this combo together. I feel like it's just given me colour back into my skin. <laughs> so it looks like quite harsh on camera, but in real life it's quite subtle. Like it's not like, wow, I've put loads on it's like she's got a bit of colour <laughs> so next I'm going to go in with highlighter get my highlighter brush and I'm going to just go in with my over highlighter in glazed donut because I love this highlighter so much it's so pretty so I'm just going to put this on my cheeks that's usually where I just put it so well not my cheeks you know where <laughs> that glow it's so pretty and then again on the other side it's so nice and i might just put a little tiny bit on my nose and then next i'm going to go with eyeshadow let me get my eyeshadow brushes so these really could do with a clean remind me down below to clean my brushes so i was going to go with this palette so i think I'm going to start off with this brown colour here, I just to put on my lid. Oh wait, I forgot to powder the rest of my face. I'll do it after. Right, so I'm just going to go in with this brown. You know what, there might be some other colours on my brush, but it don't really matter. <laughs> as long as it looks the same on both eyes, it's fine. Now that's done, I 
think I'm going to go with some slight orangey colour and try and put that through my crease a little bit or somewhere. I'm just going to try and put it here. I'm not a pro at eyeshadow, so I don't know how this will turn out, to be honest. Okay, so, so far it's looking quite nice, like orangey brown. And then I think I'm just going to go in with this nice glittery shade which is this one here it's like a champagne gold color um i'm just gonna go with my finger with this one because it always works best with your finger i'm just gonna put this onto my lid i'm not very good with eyeshadow so i'm just going with something simple and then hopefully this will match my lip color too Right, my camera just stopped recording. I think I've been recording for a long time. So as I was saying, I'm just going to put some more La Laura Mercier powder on my face just to set it. Um, because I do get quite oily. So I like to make sure that my face... It gets oily and it gets dry. So I just want to make sure that my face is nice and powdered. Just to make sure we don't get the oils through. Because I get quite oily on like my forehead and nose. So, just putting some powder on. I really like this powder. Off of first impressions, I'm just, you can see how long it lasts as well because this is expensive. <laughs> That's why I waited Chris till Christmas to get it. Um, so, yeah, I really like the powder. Contour's looking good. The eyeshadow's looking really good as well. So, I think it's a thumbs up so far so now i've done that i'm going to go in with mascara i only have one mascara so it's gonna to have to be the revolution mascara so i'm just gonna pop this on i absolutely love this mascara it just lengthens my lashes so much and it's really black and you see the difference between this eye and this eye there's so much difference and then i'm just gonna put my mascara on both eye my eyelashes now look amazing so the next thing we're going to go in with is this liquid lipstick from MAC. It's in the shade Cafe, Cafe or Chick. Sounds French. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going to go in with this. I've never used a liquid lipstick from MAC, so I'm interested. I'm intrigued. So let me just move a bit closer. Right. Oh, that's a nice colour, actually. It's sort of like chocolate colour. <laughs> So lipstick is on, I've sorted my nose out and this lipstick looks really nice and it's drying like it's a matte one I assume so it's drying already, it's nice, it's quite hard to go even because you know it's quite a dark brown but yeah it's really nice, um, it's drying well, I hope it lasts a long time, I love like liquid lipsticks that last ages. So the last thing I have to do now is to put my setting spray on which is going to be the Urban Decay All Nighter because I absolutely love this setting spray. Amazing. Would not swap for anything. So I'm just going to pop this on. I actually just got a new one. I haven't had time to use it yet. So let's spray away. Oh, there we go. Right. And now I'm just going to fan my face so it dries quicker that is the finished look i'll take my hair down so you can see the final look and this is what my makeup looks like i think it looks really good actually i haven't done like a full face of makeup in the longest time so i'm really happy with it and my hair looks really purple on camera um just to let you know some of it's gone purpley some of it's still blonde I was trying out a new purple shampoo and I've been leaving it in for too long but I actually like the colour of my hair so please let me know down below what you think should I carry on trying to turn it like a bit more purple like the rest of my hair because it's a lightening shampoo and it's actually lightened my hair quite well um, especially these middle bits as it's turned purple but yeah some bits are like purple all the way through and i really like it to be honest so yeah let me know what you think about my hair also down below let me know what you think about my makeup let me know if there's any other videos you want me to film and i really do hope you enjoyed this please do remember to smash the like button smash the subscribe button and i'll see you next time bye